What's going on guys? My name is Rewind. For those of you guys who do not know me, I'm one of the best tournament players on the planet for MK11. And today's video is about to be on how to fight against Kung Lao. I'm going to expose this character. I'm going to let you guys know all his weaknesses and how to best defend against this character. Before we start, be sure to subscribe to Dash Fight for more character guys and be sure to check out their website for all things FGC. Alright, so first jumping into this, I'm going to go over which variations typically most people decide to use as Kung Lao. For the purpose of today's video, I'm probably going to use Lotus Fist, aka just double overty hat. Um, the moves most people decide to use that I've seen the best Lao players use, including myself that I use, is Z hat. Um, so a lot of people use Buzzsaw. A lot of people use Spiritual Guidance. Um, spiritual guidance is really good for like needless damage. Um, a lot of people use orbital orbiting hat, and that's pretty much it. So um, those are the variations that most people decide to pick as Kung Lao. So those are really the only ones you, in my opinion, have to worry about. But for the purpose of today's video, I'm gonna just go over the orbiting hat variation. All right, I'm gonna go over typically what Kung Lao players want to do. So basically, his play style. Um, Kung Lao is a strike throw character, which means he's going to throw you a lot, or he's going to check you a lot. And the check leads to full combo, you know, big damage. Throws lead to possibly an escape failed situation where he has a, you know, back, he has a back throw KB. So um, he kind of wants to throw you a lot and pray that you try to tech and you tech the wrong way. And then you end up um, having to guess between getting throw KB'd or just getting straight up checked. Um... Another thing about his playstyle is he loves to jump kick. Kung Lao players love their jump kick button. Um, this is his jump three. Um, a good thing about it is he gets a full combo using it no matter where he is on the screen, whether it be mid screen or in the corner. And it's one of the hardest jump kicks in the game to anti air. So there's almost no incentive to not want to do it. Um, but one thing that you can do to pretty much negate this jump kick is kind of just stay at the spacing where you can see it coming and then just try to anti-air him. For example, I kind of like to stay in this range where I could kind of anticipate Kung Lao jumping and just anti-air him with whatever character I'm playing. Because if I'm a little bit too close, I might get stuffed. I mean, Robocop's anti-air is really good, so he's not really going to get stuffed. But I kind of try to stay in this range where I could just anti-air him because his, a lot of Kung Lao's like to jump kick a lot. And as long as you remove that part of his game plan away, um, seeing W's versus his character is going to be way easier. Another thing Kung Lao's like to do once they start getting anti-aired is they like to mix up either doing jump kick with dive kick because dive kick tends to beat people when they're trying to sit there waiting to anti-air you. But um, that's when you kind of just either decide to make a decision on whether to just block the dive kick or just try to anti-air the jump kick. You can't do both, so you kind of have to guess. So I typically, once I see a Kung Lao start uh, dive kicking instead of jump kicking, I will just block. And of course that forces you to have to block the jump kick as well, but at least if they dive kick, you get a full combo punish. I'm about to go over some of the struggles that you can experience playing as Kung Lao, and I think one of those struggles is easily probably strong zoners, and I think he struggles against strong zoners simply because he doesn't have a great way to counter zone. The most he can really do to deal with zoners is to kind of just jump over their projectile and dive kick to close space, and let me give you guys an example. I just set Robocop here to just sit full screen and zone me to death with low shot. So typically, all you would really want to do as Kung Lao to try to get past zoning is just jump over a gunshot or just any projectile and just dive kick to close space, which is actually a really good um, strat. But the only thing is like some characters have projectiles that hit at different angles, so it's not that easy to just jump over them. And say I were to just counter zone right here, I would literally get KB'd. But that's just Robocop specific, but a lot of the time Kung Lao loses the trade, the zoning trades. So zoning, counter zoning with him isn't really that smart of an idea to be honest. First string I'm going to go over how to punish is Kung Lao's 4214. The string is negative 13 on block and as long as you do anything faster than 12 frames, you should get a full combo punish on it every time. 
another string I want to go over is Kung Lao's 21212. And um, the reason why I want to go over a string is I see till this day so many people miss the punish on this. I had a, for the purpose of punishing the string, I had to switch off Robocop and play Johnny because unfortunately this string actually jails on Robocop. But if you're playing a character like this, um, like Johnny Cage, where this string whiffs, as you can see, that hat is going completely over his head. The moment that hat comes back to Kung Lao, you can literally full combo punish, interrupt that string before he's even able to hit you with those fists. For example, I'm going to do it right here. You can get a full combo and everybody in the cast can get a full combo punish every time a Kung Lao player decides to do that string. As long as this string doesn't jail on you. Like, the characters that it does jail on is, well, off the top of my head, Robocop, Jax, Kotal Khan, Sub-Zero. But even those matchups, like, aren't even that bad. But those are some of the characters that it actually does jail on. So this punish, unfortunately, doesn't work for, like, three characters in the castle. But everybody else can get a full combo punish. This is another block string that Kung Lao players love to go for that a lot of people to this day like still don't punish and this is forward 1-3 into a straight hat toss and the reason why P Kung Lao's do forward 1-3 into a straight hat toss is because if he doesn't commit to something he's full combo punishable on that string. A lot of people don't realize you can just duck that hat toss and by duck I mean neutral duck which is to let go of block but keep crouching. Otherwise you're still if you don't let go of block you're gonna block the hat and if you block the hat he's pretty much safe essentially. So, whenever you see a Kung Lao player do that, you should be safe to assume that they're going to throw that. Just neutral duck it and full combo punish. Another string that Kung Lao players love to do to try to avoid getting punished is forward 1-3 up 2. But this is simply another neutral duck punish because the last hit of that string is a high. So all you got to do is just neutral duck, which is once again to let go of block but keep crouching and you get a full combo punish. The next string we're going to go over how to punish is 4 2 one. Um, This is literally the same string as the first string we went over, 4 2 one, 4 The only difference is we're not doing the third hit here. A lot of Kung Lao players like to do this string because they know all three hits are punishable on block if they go for it. So they kind of try to fraud their way out of getting punished by just canceling it after the first two. But the string is still punishable on the first two hits with it being negative 8. And the reason why I switched to Johnny Cage is because Robocop can't punish the string. Um, because he doesn't have a fast enough button, but Johnny Cage, fortunately, and any character with a 7 frame jab can punish it. So, in order to punish this move, you literally just got to be aware that they're going to stagger it and just do your stand your stand one punish or your down one punish. It's up to you. You just got to have a fast enough button to punish it. So, like I said, with it being negative 8, you need a 7 frame normal or faster in order to punish this. Otherwise, it's pretty much safe on you. Now I'm going to go over some things that I feel like you guys shouldn't get into the habit of doing versus Kung Lao. First thing I'm going to go over is Kung Lao's jump kick. And I know I just went over how strong this jump kick is and I also went over how to anti it. But a big problem with some people is they just get hit by this thing over and over and over again. And after a certain point, even for me playing against this character, like I try to anti her, but if the, if the anti isn't working, bro, I just stop trying to anti her and just block his jump kick. Because I'd rather just sit there and block his jump kick and have no damage taken from my health bar than just to keep trying to anti her and just keep getting stuffed over and over again. I mean, look at how much damage he gets. He gets over 30% pretty much for you getting stuffed trying to anti her. So I find it pointless when people are trying to anti her him over and over again. Just Sometimes you just got to know when to hang it up and just understand that you're just not anti this character sometimes. Another thing you shouldn't do versus Kula is just... I think mashing pokes is a great idea because he has a great mid that leads to really good damage for people mashing. So I don't think it's a very bright idea to just sit there and mashing pokes versus uh, Kung Lao because he's literally going to blow you up every time for just trying to mash. And he, he does not tickle. This character hits pretty hard. I feel like Kung Lao's ultimate downfall as a character is simply how strike throw dependent he is in this game where you get punished really hard for getting red on your throws. Um, if you guys don't know what strike throw is, it's literally when you're either deciding to grab a lot or you're deciding to strike. And a strike is literally just attacking somebody after you've pretty much conditioned them to know that you're going to throw them a bunch. And the only read a, way to read a throw is to either tech it, which is to for forward throw, you tech with triangle and for back throw, you tech with square. Or you can literally just let go of block and neutral duck, which pretty much opens you up to getting striked. And that's where you try to mix up strike and throw a lot so that the opponent is constantly guessing on defense. 
But in this game, you get punished so hard for going for a throw. I mean, look at how much damage he's finna eat for going for a throw. And keep in mind, guys, like, Kung Lao's a character that has to throw. There's no, like, oh, I'm just not gonna throw then with Kung Lao. Like, no, you literally have to throw with this character or else you're not gonna win. Because, yes, he has a good strike, but you can't just sit there striking all day with this character or else he has no mix-up. Right now, I'm gonna list off some characters that I think do good versus Kung Lao. Starting off with Robocop. I think Robocop does good because he simply just keeps... Kung Lao out very well. He has that rocket launcher that has like a delayed startup to it. So every time Kung Lao probably decides to jump over the low shot, he literally just gets hit by the rocket and gets sent back full screen. The only way Kung Lao could really fight against him is if the Kung Lao player is really good at flaws blocking the projectiles and punishing them appropriately. But even then, it's still pretty uh, a pretty rough matchup. Another matchup that I think give Kung Lao a hard time is Liu Kang. Um, Liu Kang has really good zoning keep away and um, up close I think he's better than Kung Lao especially now that he has a damage buff that he can throw on which makes his fireballs do more damage. Basically everything he does does more damage and Liu Kang's just a higher tier character in general than Kung Lao. He also gets some really big punishes on a lot of the punishable things that Kung Lao does that not even a lot of characters can get. Another matchup that's pretty tough is Kotal Kahn, and that's because Kotal Kahn literally has like some of the best anti-airs punishes in the game, and that's all Kung Lao really wants to do is jump, but he can't really jump against um, Kotal Kahn because he gets punished really hard for jumping, and Kung Lao always wants to get in, essentially, like that's his game plan, he wants to get in and start strike throwing, but so does Kotal Kahn, he wants to do the same thing, but I think Kotal Kahn just does it at a better level. So that's what makes it kind of tough for Kung Lao because like he also gets outranged. Kotal Kahn's buttons go like damn near full screen. So that's also a difficult part for Kung Lao. Another rough matchup is Jackie Briggs. Um, the biggest reason that this matchup can be really annoying for Kung Lao is because his 1-2-1. One, one, um, Kung Lao, one of his most used strings is 1-2. And for some reason, the second hit of 1-2 tends to whiff on Jackie Briggs and only Jackie Briggs which opens this man up to getting punished full combo for doing one of his like most heavily used strings, which is kind of dumb if you ask me. Another rough matchup is Spawn. Spawn literally just outranges, outspaces, out damages Kung Lao. Um, Kung Lao really can't do anything about Spawn's stand 3-4, and he also like just hits too hard for Kung Lao. Like Kung Lao does pretty good damage, but Spawn just does more. That is just as simple as that. Another rough matchup is Fujin. Um, Fujin also has really great anti airs some pretty decent damage also for anti airing and um, he also just outranges Kung Lao and a lot of things that Fujin tends to get punished for from other characters, Kung Lao can't punish. He literally can't punish almost anything that Fujin is used to getting punished for, so he really just can't stop Fujin from doing uh, whatever he wants to do. Another tough matchup for Kung Lao is uh, Cassie Cage, and reason being that her back three, probably the best anti in the game because that thing never gets stuffed. Um, she gets a full combo punish off using her back three to anti Kung Lao, like a really good punish, and she ends her combos and restands too. So that takes away the whole wake up up three mind game that Kung Lao can have because his up three is like really good. So you take away Kung Lao's ability to jump, which is one of his main game plans, and she out neutrals him. So he can't play neutral with her, and he can't jump. And her EX gunshots, for some reason, jail on him. So if he at all blocks the first EX gunshot, the first hit of the gunshot, the rest are going to jail. And you've got to hold that as Kung Lao. So she out neutrals him, out zones him. He can't jump on her. Yeah, that's a tough matchup if you ask me. Cetrion is another rough matchup for him because she's just safe on everything. She has really good anti -airs. Um Kung Lao really can't do anything to stop her game plan. She zones the hell out of him. He can't counter zone her. He, she has better buttons than him. So the fact that once again she can't, you can't jump on Cetrion as Lao. You can't out zone her. You can't outspace her. You got to just pray that you land a lucky jump in every here and again. And basically that's just how the matchup goes. Um, she just, yeah, she kind of abuses him in neutral. Joker's another rough one because um, he has like full screen damn near normals. His normals just are disjointed and they go really far and Kung Lao really doesn't get like the greatest punishes on a lot of the stuff that Joker throws at him. Joker just also does a lot of unbreakable damage. Joker's just a really solid character in general and paired with his like far reaching normals that Kung Lao struggles with. And Kung Lao can't jump on Joker because Joker has like amazing anti airs with like his stand 2, his 4 2, his down 2. So yeah, um, he gives definitely Kung Lao a rough time. 
In my opinion, another matchup that's rough is uh, Shang Tsung. This character has like a really great anti air with stand three. So anytime he also has really good zoning too. So he, in my opinion, he loses because he gets out zoned quite a bit. He takes a lot of health. Um, he's chipping him down constantly with zoning before Kung Lao finally gets in. And by the time he finally gets in, Shang Tsung has great, uh, a great up-close game. And his stand 3 is an amazing anti-air, and he gets like amazing damage off his stand 3 anti-air. It like, pretty much beats Kung Lao's jump 3 every time, as long as you're doing that at the right range. So yeah, this is another one of those tough matchups. Alright guys, this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I also hope... That this video helps you guys expose some of these annoying maniac kung lao players and just start seeing some w's versus them you can also check out all the things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description if you like this video please leave a like and comment below with your thoughts appreciate y'all for watching peace